Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is factory function in JavaScript. Just like in real world, factory produces multiple copies of an item. The same goes with factory function. While writing a program, there are situations when we want to add multiple instances of an object quickly. And for this purpose, factory functions are used. In JavaScript, a factory function returns an object that can be reused for making multiple instances of the same object. It is also allowed to customize the returned object when we have some complex logic and we need to construct several object instances repeatedly. We can add that logic in one factory function and then utilize it for creating object. Now, uh, let's see uh, an example for factory function in JavaScript. Let's see use of factory function in JavaScript. So, I'm using Visual Studio Code for running the program and my file name is factory function.js. Uh, let me create a student object having two properties, name and course. So, let me write the keyword first. I'm using let keyword and I'm taking a student1 as my object name. And here, let's give the first property in it, like name. And let's say this is student one, a property name value is Harry. And now let's give the another property as course. And the value of this property, let's suppose MBA. Now let's write a method in it. So I'm taking the method name as stood info. Basically what I'm trying to do, I'll uh, show the output of the object property in a string format using this method. So for that, let me write return this dot name. This dot course. And to see the output, let's write console dot log and then the object name as uh, uh, student one and then the method name basically this uh, show info method will output the object property in a string format so let me write over here stood info and to see the output in the terminal window i have to write note and then the file name dot js and on clicking the enter button we can see the output as harry harry is in mba now what happen if I need to add the information of one more student then what I will do I'll copy this code and I'll paste it over here and I'll give this as a student to suppose I'm taking this name as a Smith and to see the output I have to now rewrite this as well and here I will write two and to see the output uh, over here, Smith is in MBA. But what if you want to create 100 student object in this case, creating each object separately while writing the same code again and again will take too much of time and make our code complex to handle. For this purpose, we use factory function. Let's see how. Let's create JavaScript factory function, uh, namely student factory, uh, for creating our student objects. So, for that purpose, I need to write function and then the factory function name. So, I'm taking factory function name as a student factory. And uh, this student factory uh, will create student objects. And in this, I need to give the parameters. So, I need to write name and course whatever parameter i need to give now let's write return and here i'll give the properties name name and course then i'll give a method in it like stood info Here, let's write return this dot name is in this dot course. So, this uh, factory function will return an object made up of property values passed as argument. 
uh, now we will create a few student objects namely uh, Harry Smith and John so for that let me write the keyword first and then the first object that is Harry and here I will give the factory function name that is student factory here I will write the name the first property so I am taking the first property name as Nihari and in the second property that is course I am giving MBA. Now for adding another object let me copy this. Here give Smith and John. Change here as well. And now let's invoke a std info function for each student object. Uh, so let's write console.log, write harry.studinfo. Let's copy this. This is for Smith and this is for John. You can see the output as Harry is in MBA, Smith is in Arts, John is in M Engineering. And this signifies we have successfully created student objects with the help of factory function. I need not to write that particular object again and again for different different uh, students. I, on I only create a factory function and here uh, a factory will be created for making different different students like I created three uh, student objects over here using this factory function. So this is all about factory function in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.